Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skip Hansen here. We are back with another match. This is an exciting opportunity here. Double J, Jack Jackson. Looks like uh, first. Is this the first American debut for young Nick Wayne? Nick Wayne, a prodigy out of Ever Washington from the legendary Buddy Wayne. It's his son. It's his son. Yeah. All four of these men actually hailing from the Buddy Wayne Academy here in Ever Washington. Is that uh, King Cash? Last, uh, last match in the United States for That's a while. what makes this match so special. King Cash is leaving to go to Japan after this match. And he's spent a considerable amount of time with Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne looks up to Cash almost like an older brother. Yeah, years together will do that to you. Special request for this match to get in the ring and mix it up with each other one time. Nick Wayne's American debut and Cash's leaving of America. Yeah. Two of them have decided to team up with classic Cody Chun and Guillermo Rosas. Yeah. Also from the Buddy Wayne Academy. Looks like... Oh, Nick Wayne getting the better cash, it looks like, at every turn. These four men have spent a considerable amount of time training with each other at the Buddy Wayne Academy. This match, because of that, will be very exciting. I don't know if either one of them is going to be able to get the upper hand for very long on the other. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be... I mean, Nick Wayne seems to be... This takeover by Nick Wayne on the King Cash. ...in control at this moment. And a pop-up Hurricane Rana. Just getting tired of attacking out. Uh, Guillermo Rosas is going to go ahead and take control of this match. Nick Wayne, 28, partner. Crowd does love classic Cody. He's hesitant. Maybe he's afraid of gear. Or is he frozen? Oh, I thought fear or <laughs> falling on the ropes there. <laughs> classic Cody. What a goof. A little bit of those odd pre-match meetings that Cody does in the ring. Locking up with Guillermo Rosas. Guillermo Rosas taking him over an arm bar into an arm ringer. Cody Chun. Wow. Look at him move. Very, very technically sound. Like an eel. Pulling Sweet. back on the fingers of Guillermo Rosas there. Not very nice. As I said before, these men have spent a lot of time at the Buddy Wayne Wrestling Academy with each other. A lot of time they've spent... Guillermo not making it back to his feet. And again. These men have spent a lot of time working with each other. They know each other inside and out. Third time's a charm on that one. Guillermo in control now. Hammerlock on Cody Chun. Cody Chun trying to find a way out, and he does. You know, oh, right back in it. Right. Oh. It's become a dance off, it looks like. You can't keep him in. That is. One hammer lock after another. They just refuse to lose. And Guillermo Rosa ends up with control of the head. Yeah, tired of that mess. Nope. Switches around. That's the line. Top. Nice arm drag by classic Cody Chun. And another under Guillermo Rosa. Guillermo looking worse for wear. Versus. Up and over by Cody Chun into another arm drag by classic Cody Chun. Very steamboat esque arm drags by Cody Chun. Well, there's one thing that Buddy Wayne always prided himself on in the time that I knew him, and it was how to take an arm drag. I'm not surprised to see that any of his students take them exceptionally well. Kick off. Team of Guillermo and Cash just cannot seem to stay up on the up and up against these. Teams. Double hip toss by Cody Chun and Nick Wayne onto King Cash, and another onto Guillermo Rosas. Nick Wayne and Cody Chun firmly control this match. What's happening here? Double monkey flips by Nick Wayne and Cody Chun onto Cash and Rosas. It's going to be a dive here. 
Doing opposite ropes and opposite somersault dives over the top rope. Wow, Aubrey is checking on Guillermo and Nick Wayne. This crowd letting the participants of this match know exactly what they think. Nick Wayne and Cody Chun firmly in control. Fans loving every minute of this. Double whip under King Cash. Rose is saving the day. Hitting Cody Chun. Nick Wayne's a little too smart for that. But unfortunately, he did not see Cash behind him. Handful of hair. Handful of hair. You know, whatever doesn't get you disqualified. That's what I always say. Knee lift into Nick Wayne's face by King Cash. This is what I feared, Jack. Eventually, this match was going to break down. These four men know each other so well. Eventually, this match has to break down into some deplorable tactics. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, anybody knows King Cash. He's a dirty cheater. He always has been. And uh, at the pace that Cody Chun and Nick Wayne have been working, they have no... Another handful of hair on the Cody Chun by King Cash. You have to be bald against this man. I think you do. Ref Aubrey there, checking on Cody Chun, making sure he still wants to continue. Wow, what a punch to the jaw. This is now the legal man, looking Cody Chun for a sack suplex. Suplex. Excuse me. Again, I, I just feel like these refs cannot count to three. Every oh. time it's one, two, one, two, one, two. It's just a and number three. And if you'll notice, the count has always been very consistent. Sue play up to Cody Chun, followed up by a knee to the face, knee drop, oh. and another knee drop. You see how he, Cash. you see how he pulled down that that knee pad to expose the bone, to drop it perfectly on his forehead. The pad really is saving these individuals quite a bit of pain. When that pad is down and exposes just a bare knee, can you imagine Jack getting hit in the face with a bare knee? I can't imagine because it's happened to me. It's a conversation we we'll leave for another day. Listen, the woman I choose in my life, things get weird. Surprised to hear that, but also not surprised. King Cash firmly in control of this match at this point. I feel like the momentum Cody Chun and Nick Wayne had before has slipped away. If you're King Cash, do you want to leave the country with a loss under your belt? Absolutely not. Nobody wants to lose in wrestling, ever. King Cash heading to 0-1 in Japan, where he will more than likely be very warmly welcomed. Yeah, such legends as Masato Tanaka there, Otani, lots of Japanese legends working for 0-1 currently. Cody Chun in the corner, just getting abused at this point. Rose is taken back in cash, just stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. Man, referee Aubrey Edwards just... Referee Aubrey Edwards needs to turn her back and realize that Rose is, is cheating right now. Just Cody Chun taking a beating. My God. Relentless. By these two. Nick Wayne has lots of fans in attendance who are watching to be beautiful without a cause. He's American. Beautiful. Yeah, he's had a, a match or two over in uh, British Columbia, Vancouver. I will say this about King Cash. One thing I like about him is the man really knows how to manipulate the body. He didn't just cover Cody Chun. He put his knee in Cody Chun's face when he made that cover. Keep him down at all costs. Look at him. Has him in a nice, kind of grounded abdominal stretch, it looks like. Tell us, when was the last time somebody won with an abdominal stretch? Well, wouldn't you know, Pat O'Connor. In course, 1973. Be jumping, jamming Jimmy Johnson with that abdominal stretch. So we're trying to get some getting sea legs back. Back Cash from King Cash. Oh, big backdrop. And 
makes the tag to Nick Wayne. No, oh, Nick Wayne is up. through King Cash. Oh, shoves oh. Rosas into Cash. He is a live wire. Look at him go. Comes off with a second rope crossbody onto King Cash and Guillermo Rosas. Wait, wait for us. Ripcord hits him with the Nitsuguri. He is. Oh, Guillermo Rosas does not know where he's at. Wow! A Spanish flag. That move is a Guillermo Rosas specialty. And Nick Wayne said, nah, uh not today. It's mine. Here we go. Nick Wayne up for a power bomb. Oh! Whoa! Cody Coming. Chun catching the buckle bomb. Saving his partner's life. Roll through. Kick to the head on King Cash. Fakes the super kick. Kick to the midsection. No! Oh. Sunset flip bomb from Nick Wayne. Guillermo knowing his ring positioning, pushing Cody Chun into his partner, breaking up that cover. That could have been it for Cash. He took a quite a flurry there. All four men down. Oh! Gross is taking the seat outside. Up and over by King Cash and Nick Wayne. Eats a boot for his troubles. And a second rope moonsault to the outside onto Guillermo Rosas. Second rope cutter from Cody Chun. King Cash barely to his feet. And a rolling cutter from Nick Wayne onto King Cash. Is he an illegal man? One, two, three. It appears by referee Aubrey's count that Nick Wayne was the legal man putting away his longtime friend, his older brother, his idol, King Cash, with that rolling cutter. King Cash, it's been a pleasure having you without a cause. You will do great things in Japan, but unfortunately tonight just wasn't your night. Well, I'm sure. Guillermo Rosa, King Cash, on their backs. Cody Chung. Chung. Sharing a moment with Nick Wayne in the middle of the way. Hugging. Love to see that. Man. The reality is, these four men have been through so much with each other over the last several years. In that garage, sharing a ring with each other, day in and day out at the Buddy Wayne Academy. What it meant for these four men to be in this ring with each other tonight. Nick Wayne's American debut, the departure of King Cash before he heads to Japan. The emotions were high. Oh, King Cash with the microphone. Where's this going? I normally don't do this. <laughs> but I couldn't think of a better way to leave the country. Welcome to America. <laughs> and it's not a match, it's so special. King Cash. Tell me that one's Nick Wayne's very special. Thank you. I love you. And I love you and embrace by King Cash to Nick Wayne.